Here I am at Steve Kinzer's Sprint car, pondering the question, where does engine oil come from? Well, first we start with the extraction of crude oil, either from an onshore well or an offshore well. Once the crude oil has been extracted, we then move on to the refining phase, where we decide which cut of crude oil will be used for lubricating oil. Fun fact. Did you know that the original companies, Pennzoil and Quaker State, were so successful in Pennsylvania because the type of crude oil found in Pennsylvania made for a very good lubricating oil? Nowadays, our refining processes are so complex that we can make high quality lubricating oil from almost any type of crude oil. Once we pass the refining phase, we then move on to our formulation phase. During the formulation phase, we go through many stringent lab tests. After the formulation has passed the lab tests, we then move on to engine tests. After engine tests, we then move on to fleet trials. So we have a New York City taxicab fleet, a taxicab fleet in Las Vegas, and a police car fleet in Houston, Texas. We use these fleets to put a lot of miles on the engine in real world situations to make sure that our engine oil meets the same standards at the beginning of the oil drain interval and at the end of the oil drain interval. Once we passed engine tests and fleet trials, we then move on to the approval process. So we have our engine oil approved by the API, the American Petroleum Institute, ILSAC, the International Lubrication Standardization and Approval Committee, and many other OEM, original equipment manufacturers, and engine and vehicle manufacturers. Once our engine oil has passed all of these stringent tests, it is then shipped to your store.